Dear class of 2020, my fellow students, also faculty, friends, and staff of Wiley College. Today, it is my joyous privilege to address you on such a memorable occasion. For August 2nd marks an eventful day that we've all been hopeful for. As a set of unforeseenable circumstances has so radically changed our lives and plans for the future, I remain deeply encouraged by the community that has surrounded us these last four years. Had it not been for the support of our institution, all the people that have served as the very backbone of our collegiate education, and most importantly, the favor from God above, we would not be receiving this gift bestowed upon us today. That is why this morning, I address you not with a message that pertains to going out there and seizing the world, nor to achieve and conquer as one would expect this very speech to fulfill. Rather, I exhort you with all my heart to make a difference. Our country of residence is under attack. Our families may very well so innocently pay the price of hate and ignorance that has so easily spread all across this nation and then spread us apart. In a world where the norm would endorse turning towards violence, racism, and the despise of your fellow men, be a difference maker and turn your head up. In this plate-like scene, where the pride of man makes him rely on the wisdom of fools for an enemy proven not to be so small, be a difference maker and turn your head up. Second Chronicles 7.14 says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and I will hear their land, says the Lord. Lastly, while it would be common to commemorate your achievements and share with the world how far you've come, say not, I have finished by my sheer willpower and effort, nor, oh, I've succeeded after all these years of my own sacrifice, but grow a heart of thankfulness and once again, be a difference maker. May the sacrifices of the people who brought us to college and the sacrifices of the people who brought us through college not be unaccounted for. May our beloved teachers and mentors witness the dividends of all the wisdom they have so kindly vested upon us. And yes, see us go forth inspired, glorious things to do. Thank you Wiley College for that acceptance letter four years ago. Shall we truly cherish thee till the end of time? Thank you, Dad, por todo. And thank you, Diego, my best friend and brother in Christ, for never giving up on me. We will endure. For if I learn something at Wiley College, trouble don't last always. God bless you.